Sussex's despised as Jill Biden skips Harry's Dusseldorf Invictus Games to avoid upsetting the royal family. Jill Biden distances herself further from Harry and Meghan after missing events with the couple to avoid upsetting the royal family. Jill Biden will skip Prince Harry's upcoming Invictus Games and will instead attend a going away dinner next week for US athletes, the White House announced on Friday. The First Lady is opting against travelling to the veterans event in Dusseldorf, Germany, which Harry and Meghan will attend and will instead speak to the competing Americans next week. Jill Biden, who's a staunch advocate for veterans, will still mark the Games by addressing 60 wounded, injured and ill-active service military members and veterans in Belvoir, Virginia, the East Wing confirmed on Friday. She's enjoyed a close friendship with Harry for years and they've bonded over their support for veterans. But recent developments in the relationship suggest that she started to keep a distance. The First Lady wanted to attend the April 2022 Games in The Hague in the Netherlands, per a resource close to her, but ultimately didn't go to avoid offending the British royal family, DailyMail.com exclusively revealed in July. LOL. Great move by Jill Biden. Hope the Invictus board of directors take note of the toxic thorn amongst them. Harry and his gold digger wife must not be associated in any way to the Invictus Games. Get them out. So much for that basket of lemons Megan sent to Jill. I guess all Megan can do now is fall to the floor sobbing while Harry curls up in the fetal position. The sooner the Harkles realise that they're nothing now without the British Royal Family Association, the better. Harry and Meghan's imagined position on the world stage is so in the gutter. Does anyone think the Bidens are going to show favouritism of Prince Harry and his wife versus Charles, the King of England? Never. Dr Jill attending Harry and Meghan's self-promoting Invictus Games is like Charles, the King of England, inviting Biden to join him at Royal Ascot. Prince Harry created the Invictus Games to honour wounded warriors. The first event was back in 2014. Harry does have purpose with Invictus itself, a cause that genuinely moves him, genuinely impacts on people's lives. His problem is really in proving to other people what his purpose is. Remind you of anything? Imagine being born as somebody whom half the population worships by default, and half the population thinks is entirely pointless. You can see why one might end up having some issues surrounding external validation. However, he seems to have gone too far and made an organisation he devotes to become a place where he and his wife make their money. His deviance increasingly leads him into a disaster of ostracism. As the saying goes, grasp all, lose all. The Invictus Games have been deemed the very best of Prince Harry by one columnist, Jeanne Moir, but she's noticed that one thing seems to mean she can't warm to the former royal. Despite his devotion to the games, Miss Moir said that it appears that Harry can't shake his constant state of being a victim. In her recent column for Mail Online, she said, Every time I want to warm to Harry, I'm repelled by his huffy, unconscious entitlement and piercing sense of victimhood. 